All right, call her lawyer unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kodash. Double honors unto the elder apostles, that great millstone that rule well. Salutations unto the elect Akim, that are in this truth and enduring with all long suffering and sound doctrine, pushing the word in sincerity and truth throughout the four corners. So I'm at the plantation and um, I had a, a idle moment to like extremely meditate upon the Lord you know, because we're supposed to meditate upon his statues day and night anyway. But you know, um, you know, sometimes at the plantation, there's really nothing to do. And you, and you just, you know, you might conjure up lessons or you just might, you know, have a lot, a lot of spiritual things on your mind. You know, which um, the reason why I say that is because I was initially going to come out with a different topic, which, you know, if the spirit permits it, I'll get into it later. But um, I want to go over just real quick. We want salvation. And this is talking about us that are in the know. Us that are, uh, call ourselves part of this truth. We want salvation, but do we deserve it? All right which is a heavy yet simple topic. It's heavy because we speak of these things. We speak of the second coming of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. We speak of these different prophecies flourishing and coming to pass. You know, we speak of the third wars war. We speak of the race riots. We, we speak of all these different things in the scriptures. And at the end of the day, it's about, do you keep the scriptures? Or do you just teach them? Because you can say you scream you want salvation all you want. You know, you can go and teach and do the work all you want. But what are you doing to deserve salvation, man? Just because you know the name don't mean that you're going to get salvation. Just because you know that you are the tribe of Israel don't mean that you're going you know, you're gonna to get that salvation, man. Okay? Because you go into the book of Peter's, it says that the righteous are going to scarcely be saved. And those are, that's the elect, man. Those are the ones going to be scarcely saved. All right? Because our salvation, that you no know, salvation that we want, which is, you know, Yahweh Shai being sent back by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, with the, with the chariots, okay, and destroying this place along with the spirits that the Most High have stirred up amongst these different nations to go to war with America. All right, all these things are gonna happen, man. Hey, so Lord willing, um, this is edifying, you know. Lord, it's, it may not be too heavy, but Lord willing, it's edifying. Hey, because one of the, one of the men and one of the brothers were talking at one time, you know, just spiritually breaking bread. And, you know, one thing that we said is, you know, don't matter what you, you know what you come out with just come out with it because somebody out there in Israel may need to hear it man you know that may stir up an, uh, um, a brother that's coming in this thing that may stir his spirit up man you know on the right hand side of course you know so let me get, go ahead and get into it this is uh, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21 it says not everyone uh, let's see yeah not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, or Yahweh, Yahweh, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. All right? Now, that's twofold. Because the kingdom of heaven is, is going into the scriptures, the breakdown of the scriptures. All right? And then on the long term, it's talking about the physical kingdom. All right? Those that are doing the will and that's, that's, those are the ones that deserve salvation, man. Those are the ones that deserve salvation. Not the ones that are not doing the will of the Father. Not the ones that are saying Yahweh, Yahweh, and doing everything against his name, man. All right? Those type of people are, are not going to get salvation. You're not going to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, by Shemiah, man. You're not going to enter into the graces. You're not going to enter into the land flowing with milk and honey, man. It says, many, should, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? You know, so this is, we're not exempt, you know. That's why we got to watch the, watch the works we do and we got to stay diligent. Because if we don't stay diligent, this is talking to us. This, is a, this account is written for us, all right? 
It says, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I pro then will I profess unto them, I never knew you depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Okay. That's why, hey, that, like I said, it's just because you know the name. Nate knows the name. All right. Yohanna knows the name. Uh, what's his name? B uh, uh, Baloo. He knows the name. Bubba Light Blackfish. He knows the name. All these different sects, all these different groups, GLCC, they know the name. All right. But what are they, they, they don't do anything to deserve it, man. You know, their works are evident. You see the things that these men do. You see the, the, the um, the things that these men speak about. And they don't deserve salvation, man. Just because you know the name don't mean you're going to make it. You know, and, and we're not exempt. Just because we know the name of the Lord don't mean we're going to make it. All right? Uh, I want to get this other scripture. Um, which I want to pull up right here in the book of Ecclesiasticus. <laughs> Salakia. Chapter 37 and verse... 19 it says there is one that is wise so i can make sure it's still recording all right it says there is um there's one that is wise and teacheth many and yet is unprofitable to himself so just because you know the name you go out there and you teach the word you teach the you know have your your border blue and your fringes you know the phylacteries all these different things whatever you teach that's coming out of scriptures you know, it can be edifying. You can you can be one that edify the church on a tremendous level, okay? But that don't mean you're going to make it. You know, a perfect example of that was um was that nigga down in Dallas, man. Element, okay? Wise man, all right? But <laughs> something, you know, something happened. He, he allowed a bunch of demons to climb on his spirit. And now look at him, man. Bugged out out there doing whatever man all right you have many of men that came into this thing and were hella wise but that don't mean that they're, they're gonna make it man if they now don't know what the hell they're doing now but if the lord allows them to make it then hey that's that's what it is but the spirit's telling me that these them type of niggas you know they're not going to be saved man no matter how much you know in the scriptures no matter how good you could break down daniel's the 11th chapter all right. No matter how good you could break down the book of Second Ezra, the the eleventh chapter or the ninth chapter, doesn't matter, man. All right. It says one is wise and teaches many, and yet it's unprofitable to himself. So you really got to do this work, man. You really got to you got to dig in. You know, you can't be in this thing just to say, oh, I'm, I know the name. Oh, I know, I know the truth. I know I'm an Israelite. I'm from the tribe of Judah. That don't fucking matter, man. If you ain't putting in no work. Then you ain't gonna make it. That's just plain and simple. That's how it is, man. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna continue in this Matthew. This is uh the book of Matthew, seven and twenty-four. It says, "Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock." So your foundation, it starts from your foundation. So if you came into this thing. And you learned the name, you know, but there were certain things in your foundation that weren't solid, you know. This it's not like you know, um your foundation is um what's the word I'm looking for? Penetrable. You know, it's able to be able to be broken down, you're able to be swayed because your foundation isn't solid, man. Alright. It says, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew. And beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock all right now how do you, that found your foundation being solid leads to what you do now man if your foundation is solid there's no way that you can go off man there's no way that you can there's no way you can fall all right unless you just completely you know um disown or not disown you completely um uh, uh what's the word Uh, yeah, it slips my mind. You know, um, I for, you know, completely forget about the Lord, man. You know, for lack of a better word. All right. If your foundation is solid, there's no way you can be shook. It says, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not. So you can you can learn the name, you can learn the 
prophecies, okay? And do it them not, you will learn the commandments, and do them not. Should be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it, man. So make sure your foundation is solid. Your foundation is solid. If your foundation not solid, man, you ain't gonna make it, man. All right. If you're not building upon that foundation, you know, uh, with with uh, sincerity and and with truth, then you're not gonna you're not gonna make it far, man. It says great is the fall of it because you're gonna be put on put on uh, front street in front of the entire congregation of Israel. All right. Everybody's gonna see it. All right. So hey. Lord willing, that was edifying unto the church. You know, call Halayim unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, um, you know, he will give the increase. You know, um, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makar Kodash, Barak Atham, uh, double honors unto the elder apostles, a great millstone, and salutations unto the elect Akim doing this work and pushing the sincerity in with truth. All right, Shalom.